All right, welcome back to our die poker game. Um, in this video, we're going to continue trying to figure out who the winner is. So what we did in the last video was in the dice hand to create a method that gave us a value for each hand um, so that we can then compare to the hand of the player and the hand of the computer to see who wins. So in our runner, um, well, so in order to determine the hand winner, what we need to do is determine the hand value of each first. So we need to do p hand dot determine hand value and c hand dot determine hand value and so if we go back to dice hand here uh, and look at our method determine hand value um, it's setting hand value to 6 we could go ahead and make this an integer and then return hand value if we need to. And that would make hand value available to us here. So then we can make another variable here that says int. Um, we'll make it p hand value. Oh, we did computer at first, so we'll do c hand value is equal to p hand value and int p hand value is equal to c hand dot determine hand value. And we don't need this line then. And then let's go ahead and put a print statement in to just test it. And then we'll do one here for um, p hand value. And let's comment this out for a minute right here because I'll throw an error because we haven't made that method yet. So we got the computer hands are printing out okay, but it's not giving us a value yet on each one. So what I think our problem is is that we're trying to determine the hand value before we've actually um, used the method called determine hand value. So up here at the top, we're going to do p hand dot determine hand value oh, I'm sorry what was it named again I mean we need to still call determine dice hand so determine dice hand and determine dice hand we want to is adding to our different counts and then telling us it, dumping it into hand type um, by what hand we have so we can since this returns a string we basically want to return um, hand type here And in the dice poker, we need a string hand type. And then we need to do that for 
our other hand, so string hand type is equal to chand dot determine dice hand. And we're missing a semicolon up here. And then let's go ahead and check that one by temporarily printing out the hand type. So string system dot out dot print ln hand type. And we'll do the same thing for the other hand. So system dot out dot print ln hand type. Let's compile that and make sure we're getting before we do a hand value. I'm going to Let's see if we get the right hand type back. Hand type is already defined in method main. So that means we don't need a variable here. Oh, no, I need it initially up here, but then I don't need it the second time. not getting the right hand type back because we got three of a kind and we're still getting back you rolled nothing and the player got two sixes and we should get a pair So I think we need to back up another step even before determine dice hand and to get um, store the counts. So we need to use this um, array store dice hand in our counts array. So we're going to do p hand dot store dice hand. And then we're going to scroll down here. Let's do them both C hand dot store dice hand. And we'll put some comments in. So step one is to store the dice hand in the counts array. And that should give us the number of each item in a hand. And then what we need to do is determine the hand type for each array and we'll go ahead and print those values out and then we need to determine step three we need to determine the hand value of each hand. So I'm going to go ahead and move this out of hand type and move it down here. And then I'm going to take this, this should be up here. So this is player hand, and this is computer hand, and then down here we're returning the value of the player hand, and the value of the computer hand. Okay, so now I think it should see if we get the values we're looking for. Missing a semicolon. So we 
this. We'll play the game. We'll play three rounds. There we go. So in the first round, player one got computer got one pair, which actually did I get these opposite? Computer hand is the first one in the list. So it got two pairs and I think these are backwards. So up at the top here where we have a yeah, computer hand is coming out first. So we're s let's move these around so they're in order. And then we need to do the computer part first, so we'll switch these around. And then these are in the right order, computer first, and then, so let's compile this once more. I think we're on the right track now. Um, can I find symbol variable hand type? So, since we switch those around, we have to switch the declaration. So yes, we'll play. We'll play three rounds. And now, we're getting... First person rolled nothing, it's not straight because it's missing the three. Player got one pair of fours. And now we've got the second round. We've got, and so we're getting a value of one versus a value of zero. And and then we've got each person got a pair, so they would have tied. We got a hand value of one of each. And then we've got, we got two pairs, two fours, and two fives. They tied. So we're doing well now, and what we have to do is just determine who the winner is now that we have a hand value for each um, person, and we'll do that in the next video.